13th March, this is two minutes in the Olive Garden. You are welcome to listen to words of wisdom. The text for today, Proverbs chapter 11, verse 2. When pride comes, then comes dishonor, but with the humble there is wisdom. In the English language, the word pride is used negatively and positively. With a positive use of the verb proud, you might have heard many say, I am proud because I'm an old student of Wesley Girls High School. I am a proud Presbyterian, proud Methodist, etc. In the Hebrew text of the Old Testament, however, there is hardly anything like positive pride. The text for today's is no exception. The word zadon is the Hebrew word translated as pride. The word zadon means insolence or presumptuousness. God keeps honoring us in many ways. He also opens the door for others to honor us. This divinely orchestrated honoring from God and man is truncated and turned upside down to dishonor as soon as we begin to exhibit insolence and arrogance. Pride is so dangerous to the extent that one may not even notice until he or she has been prompted. Humility is so important to be maintained because God pours more wisdom upon the humble. One common sin of pride people overlook is when they are praised by men for something they have done, like singing well, preaching well, giving generous donations, etc., and they forget to redirect the praise to God. When you hear things like, Oh, you preach so well today, or I like your voice, or you have been an angel to me, if not for your help, I would have died, etc., be quick to say, all glory to God, or something like, it is by God's grace. Always be very quick to redirect the praise to the proper quarters. The sin of pride is dangerous and hardly noticeable by the individuals involved. Please keep yourself in check. The shalom of Yahweh be upon you.